Hi, not so long time ago I was creating a series of video to introduce uh, the T2 Pro and this Picatinny adapter shell combination. So the good news finally, it's available the same shell for the T3 Search as well. So let's take a look at this box and see what's inside. From Infiray straight away comes in this box, in this package, in this presentation, simple, very well protected, definitely going to survive a trip to anywhere. The first thing I see here, uh, this looks like an O-ring, the same USB-C U adapter. Ooh, this is nice. This is obviously a bit bigger than the T2 Pro uh, shell, but the functionality and installation is going to be exactly the same. Looks like the opening is much bigger on the T3 uh, Surge shell than the T2 Pro shell. Uh, obviously with the installation, it's not gonna be any problem like it was before. Now let's take a closer look at it from all the sides. As you can see, it comes with the same uh, removable tripod adapter, the same mounting solution than the T2 Pro uh, box, and everything is the same. Obviously, it's larger because it needs to accommodate the T3 Search. So this bad boy is going to turn the T3 Search into a high-resolution uh, thermal scope, which in this absolutely tiny and compact size, which is much smaller than any other 384 by 288 uh, resolution thermal uh, weapon attachment solution. Especially for the price and especially with the channel discount that you can still uh, get through me. All you have to do is go to my channel homepage subscribe and in the corner you can find the discord um, invitation link where you have to join and ask me personally about the discount and availability uh, stock um, and of course the price the price is not public but i can tell you just join to my discord and ask me personally so let's disassemble this and let's see how the kit uh, going to look like together installed with everything I don't know yet what this O-ring serves for. We will find out. Inside I will see the exact same mounting solution as the T2 Pro. I have to Gently place the T3 search in it. Oh, actually, actually it's exactly accommodating the lens of the T3 search. So now let's just put the screws. This is padded, so it's not gonna damage the back of the T3 search. Fits perfectly inside the case. Make sure to install this uh, bracket uh, with the correct orientation. You can also DIY add some additional padding even inside um, the part where the uh, camera connects to the case and the part where the holder where the holder bracket is. At this point, it's nice and secure. Next step is of course adding the cable. You have to push the cable through this hole first. Connect this U adapter that curves back with the camera itself. Push to click. And then, as you can see, there is the USB-C of the camera and there is the other part of the connector and just, just push it back until it correctly connects. You need to make the cable get used to this uh, place because the original cable was not designed exactly for that, but you are free to use um, a different uh, kind of uh, extension cable. Uh, USB-C female to male adapter. You can buy an AliExpress. Good thing that this is a bigger case, so the same cable size can be accommodated inside much more nicely and easy. Make sure to leave enough cable hanging outside. 
now you can put the screws back just for the sake of video i'm only going to install two screws of course you will have to install all the four screws when you want to do it also i don't know if the real purpose of this little o-ring that i found in the bag it serves to basically waterproof uh, the lens i don't know i'm gonna try to install it this way looks like it fits uh, perfectly on it on the lens itself let's screw this back and see i have seen this uh, kit basically installed uh, on an ar as well uh, here is a short video about it you can see it As you can see, uh, there is no problem using this uh, kit, um, even with an AR rifle. And you can also use it very well for airsoft and air guns as well. If you're hunting rats, for example, pest control, uh, you can use it perfectly and very nice. And there it is, now that both have installed uh, the phone holder part, uh, you can see much better the difference in size. In weight there is also a slight difference, but it's not going to be affecting for your skills of using it. This is still very 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 compact. Even with this I'm going to use uh, the mini phone to make the, the whole kit completely small, absolutely, incredibly small. It is installed nice and tight. Now just connecting the cable, nice and easy. So for those of you who saying that it won't hold zero, it does, it holds zero. So basically, wherever you set the uh, crosshair, as you can see, I'm gonna set it like here, no matter, just an extra in position, just to see, just to let you see that it's going to hold position after you turning off the program. Um, you exit the program, I'm completely closing the program. I completely close the program. Now, going back, restarting the program, and when it comes back, it's exactly where I left it. So yes, it holds zero. Um, unfortunately, there are, there are no profiles. If you move it to another gun, you probably have to recalibrate again, but it's going to hold it. So now, let's see how it look like. So let's see, here we are going to see distances of uh, between 155 uh, meter, about 160 something yards, uh, to 55 meters. Um, right now this part is about uh, 70 meter. In this part is about uh, 65 meters um, I don't know how much is in uh, yards uh, but you can calculate it easy this is about 50, 155 meters about this part so let's see this guy walking there uh, in 155 meter distance with a 15 time zoom uh, as you can see you can clearly see uh, that it's a human um, you're obviously not going to ID the person uh, from 155 meter distance, uh, but you can clearly see the body parts, clearly see what is it. So I think from 155 meter with this you can ID a deer, uh, ID a dog. Uh, I think you can see the difference between a coyote uh, and a dog. Uh, I mean the neighbor's dog uh, from that distance. So now we are at about 70, 75 meters uh, with a 3.2 uh, times zoom. Uh, you can also clearly see the people there, you can see their body parts. Um, you can see everything quite clear, even from that distance. And as you can see, the 3.2 zooms also works out very well. And this uh, 384 by 288 resolution.
Once again, we are seeing there a guy cleaning his car. I can clearly see that he's cleaning his car uh, 155 meters away. So let's see with 12.4 uh, times zoom. Um, yes, you can still clearly see that this person is... You need to have trained eyes and you can save a lot of money with that basically. So you can obviously see this cleaning, cleaning his car. But I don't know why he's cleaning his car at night, but he does. The farthest face of these buildings here uh, is about 300-350 um, meters away, so even from that distance you can clearly see the windows and everything, so... Let's see the two guys over there uh, walking their dogs. Um, they are about 65 meters away. As you can see, that dog is going to do their, his job. Uh, and you can see that he left a tiny little heat spot there. <laughs> But you can see that even from 65 meter away. Let's see it with a slight zoom, 6.4 times. And there you go, you can clearly see from 65 meters, it's about 70, 75 yards. You can see clearly it's a dog, you can see it has some kind of collar or like a like a warm to warm his back with something you can see that as well now here comes a short uh, street view uh, this is 75 meters uh, with 5.3.8 7.3 times zoom you can clearly see that everything is relatively clear even from this distance is about 80 yards this uh, is a balcony balconies of the houses um, you can also see them very nicely and clearly especially for the price of this uh, unit uh, this is very impressive I mean what you can get for it for about for less than $700 it's very impressive Let's see some pigeons uh, from about 55 meters away. Giving them an 11 times, 15 times maximum zoom. You can see the pigeon from 55 meters. And you can clearly see it's a bird. You can see where is his head, where is his torso, where is his uh, body parts. So This guy from 75 meters, you can clearly see the details of his clothes and everything. Some shots inside the house. Uh, you can see the, you can see the computer parts. Uh, you can see the speaker um, and some other electronics inside. You can see clearly which one in the water cooling system, which one is the uh, warm and which one is the returning cold uh, pipe. All the components is heating up in the computer. You can see everything clearly. Just to show that you can use this camera for other things as well not only spotting and hunting you can do for interior uh, inspection so as you can see this is an insane value kit it's super very very good works precisely works very well i have tested uh, in another video the t2 pro uh, with the same kit uh, there if you want if you haven't seen that video yet uh, you can see down in the description i'll leave the, the link for that video as well 
can see how it performs and how accurate is that uh, with even with airsoft. Um, you can use it with any kind of uh, guns and you can get uh, 380 uh, 4 by 288 resolution thermal scope solution um, below $700, which is insane value. There is no one else can uh, beat that price uh, in that. Apart of using it as a thermal scope, you can disassemble it and use it as a, as a mobile phone scope uh, or thermal camera to use uh, home inspection, um, garden watching or whatever, you, whatever else you, you want to do. Uh, you can use this in airsoft, you can use this uh, incredibly well in pest control. You can see the rats or mouse even from very very far and with an air gun you can take them out very fast and efficiently uh, without any problems. The software holds zero, so wherever you set it, it will stay there, it will not move. If you look around in the market, uh, see somewhere uh, 384 by 288 resolution thermal scopes, you will be surprised that they cost uh, well above $1,500, $2,000, some of them. And if you couple it with your mobile phone, you get the exact same functions that they are. You can even stream it. Uh, there are programs that you can st stream your screen. You can record the screen. You can record with the program itself. Um, all your hunting experience can be recorded and, and for, for, sh for showing it to your friends or whoever, whatever you want. Or for your customer, for example, if you're doing pest control. Uh, so this is excellent. And if you don't know where to get this case, um, join my Discord server. The link is in the banner image of my uh, YouTube channel homepage. Um, there's a click and you will be there. And ask me personally in a private message. I will respond to every newcomer on the channel uh, with a greetings message. So if, if you are if you're not familiar with uh, Discord, um, you don't know how to send a private message, I will send you a, a greetings message anyway and you can ask me about the discount of this one or this one as well, both, if you are on a budget. This is less than 400, less than 700. Depending on your budget, both have incredible functionalities and incredible image uh, quality. Obviously, this is way better than this, but you need to pay up a little more for that. So I hope you like this and see you in the next one.